So the best advice that I can give anyone that wants to become a public speaker, but particularly young women, is get into a leadership role at your school right away. Sign up for something, lead something at the beginning of the year, run for something, get up in front of a room and try to win the hearts and minds of the group. And a great measuring stick of that is if you win. And so um, being a compelling public speaker is not about being necessarily like an entertainer. It's about being someone who makes people feel something. And, um, and in the case of like high school or middle school, like leadership opportunities, maybe it'll make somebody vote for you because they believe that you can help the class improve something or have a dance. And I will tell you, that's what I did. I spoke at my high school graduation. I wasn't valedictorian or salutatorian, but I was the president of the senior class. And they actually asked me to speak because I had done, I had created so many public speaking opportunities for myself because I was trying to get the class to do some zany, wacky new thing. And so I was always in front of a group of people like selling something, right? So like being in front of a room is like the ultimate sales job in the most powerful, awesome way. Like our amazing president, Barack Obama, one of the finest public speakers I think that ever lived. I love watching him speak. He is a master and, um, so watching great speeches is a great way, and he's a great person to watch, and um, giving yourself an opportunity to get in front of the class. And then, and then what's cool just about school is that, um, is that like you'll know you're good if you get the votes, you know? So junior year when I was in high school, not so good. I didn't get, I didn't get the vote. And I went back, I refined my skills, and I, and I got them, right? And I got to be the president and I got to really create a lot of really cool stuff for my class. And, um, and I really found that it was a very powerful tool for me to, um, to refine my level of comfort at being, my, at being myself in front of large groups of people. And it has served me very, very well to have that skill. And, and then the idea that I could actually get paid to be in front of a group of people is incredible. And I would say, again, another, another field that is jam-packed with men, and there's plenty of room for women, and there's enough women in the audience that are saying, Where's, where are all the women? Like, where are the people I can identify with? So there's a big need. And if you get really, really, really good, it's a very lucrative profession. And I will say it's something that I continue to get very good at. I don't think I'm ever done. Um, and but if I were 10 years old, I'd be I'd be like gathering people and trying to get them to do something awesome, right? And if they're following you and doing what you talked about, that's how you know you're good. And if they're not, there's go back to the drawing board, right? And then another skill is um, when I talk about being yourself or you know being being myself, um, being able to be real. So you saw me get emotional, right? There was a time in this interview, um, there was a time in my life when I controlled all my emotions. And when someone who was talking to me wouldn't even, well, I, I think that they might not see that I was affected, right? And I think it's very important uh, for a woman to show how she feels and um, be authentic about who she is. And I know um, for me, I have a, a I kind of had a long journey with that. And I think it's a powerful woman who can cry and show her, show her feelings and laugh and laugh out loud and be serious and kind of push the limits of all emotion. And I think what makes a great public speaker is someone who is um, kind of exercising all of those emotions right in front of you. And because I think being in the audience, we love to see people that are very authentic.